also picking out the ones that are shorter and triangular. So, right get them out of the way first. Yeah, Hello, over on the Shorts YouTube live feed. You got my view over here, harvesting broccoli right now. Did not need that much. Got a new container. Over here harvesting broccoli. Jess is harvesting broccoli as well on the other side. The other side. We will be going live on the full feed, I guess. I don't know. Full main feed. Main feed. Here in about 16 minutes. We want to watch the whole thing. Good morning, making connections. And five, these look healthy. How many days did they take the harvest? These are on day nine. You really can harvest anywhere on broccoli in day nine to probably 11. 10 is kind of in the middle. Uh, we found you don't get much different growth day nine to day 10. It doesn't really grow a lot. So. Day nine works better for our schedule. Day nine works much better for our schedule. So day nine it is. Mr. WC, what's up? Well, you know, just having fun harvesting some broccoli and a lot of other things today. How are you? What's up with you? Where do you buy seeds at? Uh, multiple places. My first place I always check is Greener Harvest Seeds. Number one, uh, True Leaf, Johnny's, Mums, Osborne Seeds, Hoff Seeds. There's there's many options. Uh, I found Greener Harvest has great germination. Johnny's has great germination. You pay more for Johnny's. Uh, and True Leaf has a great supply of everything. They have a lot of different varieties. Some things we can only get at Trudy. Some things we can only get at Trudy. That's all on our resources on the roadside. Yep. On a, our free school group, we have all them resources uh, of everywhere we buy stuff. If anybody's interested in that, it's just school, S K O O L dot com slash growth bites. Or just go to school dot com, S K O O L dot com slash microgreens. First one to pop up is Growth Bites. Second one that pops up is Micro and Business Coaching. Them are both of our groups. Just watching the dream. Yes. <laughs> Just had a bunch of true leaf chard and they had less than 10% germination. Yikes. Yikes, I would call them. 
call them and let them know that you had bad seats. Uh, they generally are pretty good about refunding or giving you credit or something or sending new out if they have a different seed lot. Make sure it's a different seed lot that they send you if they do that away. You obviously don't want the same seed lot. If they know there's a problem, they're not going to reach out to you. But if you reach out to them and they know they have a problem with the seed lot, they'll, they'll take care of it. Is it really profitable to grow microgreens for customers and restaurants? Uh, yeah. Um, this is the only thing we've been doing for three and a half years is uh, growing microgreens, doing indoor vertical farming. 99.9% .9 has been microgreens. We just now started getting into edible flowers and lettuce. Uh, but mainly it was all microgreens that made that, that possible. So yeah, it can be very profitable. You got a great profit margin on microgreens. Um, you got a, people you can sell it to, you can make it happen. We're in a 4,000 square foot warehouse, growing this stuff now, and it's probably 80% full, 70% full right now. So, yeah, and that's only in less than six months we were able to fill that much up already. So, and we got a distributor probably coming on board here hopefully next month. So, yeah. It's only profitable if you can find people to sell it to. It's usually a challenging thing. The reason why we go over marketing, well, we have a marketing course within our group. Uh, that right now is an extra cost for that, but uh, $59 a month to learn everything about marketing and specifically to microgreens. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Pretty darn good deal. Teaching everything we've learned over the last four years, plus you know some other businesses that we've ran and done that we've done learned a lot of marketing on as well. So and you can get on our school group and you can just see people how much they rave about our marketing course and all that stuff and everything else. So it's not me telling you. You can get on that free school group and you can get in there and ask people what they think. We are running a special on our main school group, which is the Microing Business Coaching. We have five spots left. That'll be up on the main feed, but I'll let you guys know for being here. So if you go to school.com, S K O O L dot com slash microgreens, it's going to be $27 for the next five people that get into it. It's normally $97, but we're running a special right now. You can get yourself locked in for life at $27 a month. And then the marketing course you can add on for $59, which is also normally $97, so you can get a deal on that as well. How about class classes, programs that are more education and yeah. That's what I get. Him, I just what I just talked about. If you go to school.com slash microgreens, that is all there. We don't hold anything back in there. Uh, the only thing that you know is marketing is extra, but everything else, you know, we kind of and we talk about brief marketing, but not in detail. Um, but if you ask questions, we're obviously going to answer if you're in that group. So, but the marketing just goes more work with you, so you can get on there, ask questions on the marketing. Share screen share screens, show your logo, your uh, packaging, uh, everything. label, everything. But for $27 a month, you get all the classrooms, you get weekly live Q&As, 
uh, with the group. So every every Tuesday at seven o'clock we go live uh, for an hour and a half to two hours and answer everybody's questions. So yeah. You guys are awesome. I'm a new subscriber. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that making connections. Thanks yeah. for the sub. We got a lot of great videos here on the YouTube channel too. Check them out. Uh, we have, I think, now 800 or so videos, uploads yeah. uh, on here. So there's a lot of great information on here as well. We do a lot of how to grow. And some of the standalone videos cover a lot of like the basics. A lot of the lives we did like a couple of years ago was just uh, me going live on the camera. Um, went into detail and stuff as well. So, check them out. Pre podcast days. Pre podcast days, yeah. Harvesting Rain Homestead. I'm taking a break from planting in the garden. I need to grow some microgreens too. Haven't done it in a long time. Yeah. And they get done a lot faster in the gardening traditional gardening so you can get your veggies in 10 days do you need a business license to sell at restaurants uh, probably uh, but it depends on where you are uh, usually uh, you may not need an actual license but you need may need to register your doing business as uh, as a DBA or something like that uh, with the city, just so they know you're a legit business, you're legitly doing stuff. Uh, but you may not need to have to pay any money for it. You might have to advertise in the paper saying you're a new business or something like that, but that's usually about it. I guess what we did in the beginning, we were just a DBA. And we, $20. $20 to put it in the paper and advertise. That was it. Saying you're a business. I don't know why they still do that, but you know, it's what they do here. But yeah, check with your uh, city and see what they require and then I would recommend getting liability insurance just to protect yourself it's cheap I think 30 bucks a month maybe um, not even for low sales like that I think it's only like 17 a month yeah 17 a month you can get liability of insurance of like a million dollars check with your local insurance guy or you can check out flip our next FILP our next insurance uh, they're good at two uh, good ones to start with cheap Cover your just in case. That's a lot of things they'll be asking for. A lot of restaurants would be, is if you had insurance. Um, so yeah, not necessarily need a business license. They just want to make sure if someone gets sick, you're covered. With very low risk, that's the reason why it doesn't cost much. Thanks for the likes, I appreciate it. It helps to get out to more people. If you haven't liked yet, please like the video. Park it or whatever they do on Shore Cities Days. Always changing, so.
This is good too. I don't know if you like see that. Like, this is the perfect time to harvest. Like, I can just pull the mat up. That means there's no moisture in there holding it down. It's dry. It's ready to harvest. Like. Look at all them roots down there. But that's that you know it's ready to harvest, like it's good to go there. Good way to check it if you don't know. If it's still wet, it'll start pulling apart. Yep. Getting ready to go live on the main feed, OG, whatever you want to call it, landscape, landscape mode. Um, just getting ready to fire that up, and you'll be able to see a wider range, see her, what she's doing, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, but she does it a little different. She uses a big knife and cuts it all at one time, uh, in a different way. Uh, Peter, thank you. Thank you. We just do what we do. I don't think we're awesome, but thank you for thinking that. We appreciate you. Listening in the background. Uh, hopefully, we talk enough for you to hear. <laughs> Occasionally, we get quiet when we go along if nobody's asking questions. So, we make sure you guys ask questions. To startle you every once in a while. Yeah. We're still here. Oh, so I'm still listening. <laughs> we had that. Uh, who was it that said that one time? Is it mentally dope? I think so, Chris. Yeah, he was in the background. He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot you guys were on. Then you, you talk. <laughs> thought I was hearing things, man. <laughs>
What kind of scale are we using? This is a Ava wave. Ava wave. A-V-A wave. I think we have that in our resources as well over on Growth Bikes. Yeah, it's hard to find a good legal for trade scale that doesn't take like a bunch of money. Yeah. These are pretty good. You have to use a box behind there uh, to hold the lid, otherwise it messes with the weight. So, pro tip on that, we found out. Better this than my music. It sometimes put my students to sleep. I'm a dad and have to have background noise. I feel that. Yeah. Do you use actual grow lights or shop? We use full spectrum uh, pink-ish lights. So actual grow lights, um, they are Marina. the pink-ish Barinas. Um, they're listed in our resources if you're over on Growth Bites. I think you're over on Growth Bites, right? Bites. Yep. So if you go to that resources list, we link those uh, T8s and T5s. We use either one T8 or two T5s, depending on what we're growing. Um, but we use the pinkish. The shop lights work, but not for anything with color. Any reds, red cabbage, and they're giving up a lot more keys. Yeah. They, a lot more power. They're wasting energy because they shoot more green and blue light that the plants don't need. Thanks for subbing, Riaz, Vamichi Krishna, and SS. Thanks for the subs, guys. Thank you. Love new subbers, almost to 5,000 subs, so we might. might we're only a few close. away, so we might be. We're very, very close, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have 100 members on Growth Bite Party and then a 5,000 sub party. Yes. On the YouTube side. It's gonna be fun. Party's around. Party's all around. I'll toast with microgreens. find me a party hat or something. My green, my green, where's that? My daughter stole it. Oh, your green hat? My green yeah. top hat. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I find that. I'm betting she stole it. Somewhere. Probably. If you are a dad of daughters, do they steal your stuff too? Because ours loves to steal this stuff. I'm not on the growth bites, I said to the school. Oh, he's on the main. Oh, okay, yeah, you get growth bites uh, uh, let me, automatically, yeah. You, you can get on growth bites too. Let's make sure you get over there as well. You should have got a message. I think it actually should have sent you a link to that in the message. Make sure you check your messages on school if you haven't, because it should. But just for good measure, that's the link for growth bites. I mean, I think it's in the paid version too. Guide. Oh, yeah, it's in there. It's in there, too. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I get it over there. But yeah, even more growth. The Growth Bites has, like, a lot of um, just community members. I think both of the communities have a pretty good amount of activity to them. Mm -hmm. A few more in-depth questions on the page side. The paid one is the people are really want to do it. Growth bites, or some people that really want to do it and are dabbling. They're thinking about it. So. But I, I remember also that's in the main courses on growth bites, so help out the community over there as well for us.
robot found a friend. Oh no, where's the robot now? Next to a fan. Oh. <laughs> Over there. They didn't try to kill themselves. Maybe. Maybe. He might be on the cord or something. something. Like a cord. So we have a robot vacuum. His nickname is number one employee and it's it's sarcastic. Um, it likes to eat cords and anything that it cannot eat. Like it targets those things. It's not supposed to. It's just supposed to follow a pattern. It does not. It does not follow its pattern. Just signed up awaiting approval. Oh cool. We'll get you when we get a chance. Yeah. On a glove change on. or something. Yeah. Catch you on a glove change. Yeah, in our group, so you have to approve everybody on the, the free one because sometimes you have spammers that try to get in there. And we don't want any of that, so. We don't want nonsense in our group. So we approve everybody that gets in there. A lot of times it's people who are just trying to sell stuff. Yep. And they don't actually grow. getting off of social media is to not deal with that. What? Are you stone? Are we stone cold? What? see you at all. Oh, they don't actually physically see you. They see my hands. Mm -hmm. Wow. What? That wasn't Camera placing it on purpose there, I think. Case 
label and packer should be here soon. Sundays, I don't know if they do a lot of stuff. They used to, but they haven't changed to schedule schedules. Their schedules have changed, really. Well, in January, there's a lot more people going to said gym. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them I love them dunk trays and stuff and all that if they want to work out. they can have a great workout. I don't even charge them. Sweat it out in their spa, sauna, slash dish room. <laughs> Do you all compost your leftovers, or what is your disposal strategy? The answer would be a lot with a short time turnaround. So we compost what we can. We bring some home for the chickens. And unfortunately, there is no commercial composting or facility that uh, is around us. So it goes to the dumpster. But Brightside Landfill gets to grow some all sorts of good stuff. Um, we sometimes give it to microbial farmers or to people who want the soil for pets or chickens or things like that. It's just really hard to depend on that because you're at the mercy of them picking it up. We do a bin exchange for that. So if they bring a bin, I'll switch them out. They get a full bin, I get an empty one. So there's ways to do it. Um, if I have someone lined up for it, we'll just stack them up by the back door and they come and switch them out. But that's not every week. So the days that I don't have that, they go to the dumpster. We have some amazing garden soil at home. And very happy chickens.
so hopefully that would be. Uh, he put his key with the curtain. Okay. He can't get anywhere. If he doesn't have that. <laughs> Yeah, my chickens would run through enough of this on my scale. I'll be operating. Three all I did. 300 trays the other day. Mine alone. Wow. Though y'all, oh, though y'all did 300 trays the other mine. Yeah. We do, we planted 571. Planted 571 on Friday. We did 12 things of wheatgrass. We normally do 16, 18, or slower. One of the wheatgrass. Uh, this week, and then we planted 10 sunflowers yesterday. The sunflowers have so. been getting done too fast, so we had to move their planting day back a day. So, so in total, 593. Which is exactly how much stuff I can fit on the shelf. planting strategy comes from the fact that we don't have any more space than that. We have 31, well, yeah, well they will take up a lot of space. So 30, we have 31 growing rats. They are 100% full pretty much at all times, unless there's like a day where there's nothing on something. But there's always something else going on it within a day. As soon as you harvest, you're putting yourself back. Yeah. Take it off, put it back on. curious to find out if your chickens eat the peas. Ours does not. Our chickens are too fancy for that. They don't eat the peas. They use them as foot mats and they'll scratch them. But they don't even tear them up. They just use them for foot mats. love it to get there. For now, I just need to start. I was thinking of starting in my garage, but I'm concerned with heat being I'm in Florida. So yeah, the garage can be a challenge. Um, if you're dealing with heat, airflow is going to be your friend. Um, you need extra airflow to kind of battle off some of the heat and the humidity side of it. At the end, uh, when we were at home, we were uh, germinating. We were planting germinating and harvesting everything in the garage because uh, we didn't have any more space. Yep. So everything else was in the other rooms that are inside that were get growing, but all that was done out in the garage. And it worked okay. We did have a, we supplemented it with a heat air conditioner thing. Yep. It was a dual thing. So we supplemented that with that. Our garage doors are pretty sealed, so it was, it was pretty good. It worked out really good. slash air conditioner mix combo thing, but you probably wouldn't need much of a heater in Florida. Sometimes, depending. I caught a load of grasshoppers and my chickens just left them alone. Couldn't believe it. What? what? 
That's so you've got bougie chickens too. <laughs> My girls would go full murder mode at that point. Oh, yeah. They love a good stuff. Maybe your chickens are vegan. <laughs> <laughs> My chickens are vegan. Uh, yeah, no, they're not. We've heard somebody say that before and we're like, wait, what? <laughs> your, your chickens are not vegan. You may think they are, but... <laughs> 